Hi, welcome to the Immigrant Coach. This is Vicky Mungre. Um, today is January the 8th and I am recording this video for the benefit of my subscribers um, from my family room. And uh, here I am on my lazy board talking to you folks about a lot of questions and emails that I received from my subscribers that watched my previous video on uh, goal setting for 2009. And a lot of uh, people ask me this question whether there are certain conditions that need to be met whether there are certain eligibility criteria for goal setting or um, is there a particular way in which I can set goals so that I can achieve them? Absolutely. The answer is yes to all of the above. And which is why I decided to make this short video that will clarify as to the conditions in this goal setting exercise that you must keep in mind before you write down your goals, whether they are life goals, personal goals, financial, spiritual, relationship-based, career, it doesn't matter. Uh, the type of goal uh, doesn't matter, but for any goal um, in a goal-setting exercise, one needs to keep in mind the following three major conditions or criteria. Um, so let me start with the first one. A goal should be specific. What do, you, what do I mean by that? Uh, many a times I hear um, someone telling me, um, could be a friend, a family member, um, could be an acquaintance, um, I want to be rich. Now is that a goal? Not according to me, because I want to be rich does not meet the criteria for specificity. What do I mean by that? Um, let's say, um, let me change that and say I want to be healthy. Is that a goal? Once again, absolutely not. Let's take another uh, situation. I want to get married. Is that a goal? Once again, absolutely not. So how do I change these statements that are very general in nature uh, to make them more specific? So instead of saying I want to be rich, I can say I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's more specific, right? Instead of saying, I want to get married, I can say, I want to get married this year. Now that is more specific, right? I want to be healthy. Instead of that, I can say, I wish to lose 25 pounds. I'm sure you get the picture, what I mean by being specific. Next. Every goal that you set should be measurable in some way or the other. What I mean by that is, you need to be able to track your progress against that goal over a period of time. Could be weeks, could be months, could be a year, depending on your goal. And, and when you have a specific goal, when your goal meets, meets the first criteria I talked about of specificity, you will be able to measure that goal. For example, I want to make $100,000. You made $50,000 uh, in the first six months and you know you're on track to achieving your goal for the year, which is $100,000. Let's say I want to lose 25 pounds and um, you already lost a fif um, 15 pounds. You know you are 10 pounds away from achieving your goal. So that's what I mean when I say that uh, goals should be measurable. And uh, the next uh, criteria, which is the third one, should be time bound, which means the goal should be time bound. What, I, what do I mean by that? I want to get married within the next six months. I wish to make a hundred thousand dollars in the next one year. I want to lose 25 pounds within the next two months. Now these are specific goals that are not just uh, meeting one criteria, but also the other two criteria of being measurable and being time bound. Any goal that you write down for yourself, um, in case 
it meets these three criteria, it will be much, much more easy for you to achieve them because you'll be able to track the progress towards the achievement of your goal. And having said that, um, I also uh, want to share a very, very important um, situation or criteria once again where uh, you might have um, uh, written the goal out on a card, on a post-it and posted it on your computer, in your bathroom mirror, in your bedroom uh, so that you see it day in, day out and uh, you, you kind of repeat it in your mind um, throughout the day. That leads to what? The subconscious mind will over a period of time accept it and believe in it. That's what you want to achieve because when the subconscious mind accepts that goal um, after a lot of repetition and, and it becoming a habit, it will start acting on it. And when I say start acting on it, it just starts happening. Um, when, you, when you set a goal, like I said, do not worry or do not think about how I'm going to achieve that at this point. Just set the goal for yourself. The strategy to achieve the action steps, um, they, will, they will fall in place over a period of time. And I'm going to talk about those in the coming videos as well. Um, but at this point, I, I want you to set your goal for this year and, and make sure that it's specific, it's measurable and time bound. Um, after you've done this activity, uh, just keep one thing in mind. You need to be ready to receive. What I mean by that is the infinite intelligence some people call it the higher self, some people call it the consciousness, some people call it the cosmic intelligence. I don't care what you call it. But the universe will actually align itself and, and get in sync with your goals and help you to achieve them. And, and that is the beauty of a goal setting exercise. Um, put your feeling into it, put your heart into it, uh, put emotion into it. and, and um, to begin with, I know this is going to be a challenge because when you write a goal and let's say you're making about $25,000 and you set a goal for uh, $100,000, it seems unattainable. It doesn't seem realistic. But please don't worry about that. Believe me, it worked for me, it will work for you too. You have to believe in that goal. You have to put feeling and emotion, put your heart into it. Uh, read it day in, day out. Talk about it to your friends, to your family, to your colleagues. Uh, announce it publicly. Because then, um, you know, they're going to hold you uh, against that goal. And that's the best part. It's going to drive you even more. So, I wish you the best um, in this exercise. Um, you have yourself um, a 2009 uh, full of abundance and prosperity, good health, and a lot of joy and happiness. Uh, thank you. This is your immigrant coach, Vicky Mungrath.